Detective Gladison! Not now, damn it. I'm busy. Can't you tell? There's a dark horse running in the elections. They're called Team DTF. DTF? What's their platform? They're encouraging sensitivity training for all students. They're raising the prices of, at Tim Hortons. And even worse, they're campaigning to build a new building for the journal. Holy shitballs. Let's find these mofos. Who are these sick bastards? The Team DTF. What's that over there? Who would bait a cat? They obviously don't like being wet. We're getting real sick out here. They must obviously love the cats. I was thinking about tiling my bathroom and checkerboard. I think it would clash for water. Good point. What about Keanu Reeves? You better run off at any time. I think this trench coat makes me look official. Hey, look, it's Tim Hortons. It's an envelope. What kind of sick bastards are we dealing with? Blast! A fish! This is so counterproductive. I think it's a red herring. We are clearly dealing with some kind of psychopath. This red herring was real piss off, but as all crimes go, this means we only needed one more clue before the crime would instantly solve itself. But we are dealing with someone whose name is D, T, or F, but probably D, because we need the leader of this group of hoodlums, and this big D must like cats and also screwing with people after that red herring BS. So Regina and I, who was becoming increasing pain in my ass because of the reluctance and other shit, decided to continue our investigation. The real dudes in Phalange. We owe it to the student body of Queens to find these cat bathing fuckers. There's no way I'm letting anyone raise the prices of my tin bits, and we sure as shit aren't giving any more money to those muckraking twat waffles at the journal. Over my dead body. Wait a second. What is that you're sitting on? Get out of the way, Chalk! Heaven's to you. What is this? Daniel Wolf. He's DTF. But who's T and F? I guess we'll never know.